solved a problem with my uh, idle uh, and thought I'd uh, go through what I probably should have done well I mean it's common procedure to check your float level so um, I probably checked it and uh, went out of adjustment or something happened I don't know what but my float level instead of being six millimeters it was probably uh, ten eight something like that so instead of you know yeah, let's put this together here so we can do a little demo maybe do like a how to do your uh, adjust your float because I don't know it's a little bit strange on a 850 uh, where you gotta hold the hold your cover vertically which is not too typical I guess See if I can get that in. Get the. Uh, there we go. So don't pay attention to this float. I just kind of use it for a a keeper for the uh, the inlet valve. Because if you don't have a float there to hold it in, you got to keep your. You lose. Uh, I, I have this feeling that if you mismatch your your uh, needle and your seat it's not a good idea but you know after you polish them and stuff maybe it doesn't make much difference but some seat some needles are actually don't match with the seat meaning it's too big so there's different size seats and and uh, needles so anyways uh, you have to have a gasket in there and you're supposed to measure it like this. This is how a normal float carburetor measures, but 850s go like this. Side view is like this. So what they're trying to do is apparently is that little spring-loaded, the needle has a little spring-loaded uh, ball in it. Don't ask me why, but uh, that's what what's there. So what what the thing is is you want to hang it down like this, but but not have you know not squish down in that ball, which is probably about, it's probably like a millimeter or something like that. I don't know. You can hardly feel it even when you squish it. But this is what you're supposed to do. So I have a. What is this size? This is a fifteen sixty fourths drill bit. Fifteen over sixty four, which comes out to be real close to six millimeters. You know, I can probably give you these specs in the text under the video. Uh, but what you're supposed to do is put the drill here and you know put put some pressure if you can tell I'm putting pressure on my thumbs right and what I do is I I roll it underneath the float and uh, see what kind of clearance I like this one you can tell the, the float is real close to the uh, I mean it, it, it's it, it's too low so because this is just a demo but what you'd want to do is just have that this drill bit just touch the bottom of the float in this vertical position to keep that uh, the objective of the vertical is again just to get that apparently that little ball on top of the needle from squishing down so once you get your six millimeters you're done and uh, you can use I don't know, just about anything that's six millimeter, you know, any any sort of metal or something that you know is, I think six mils is about, oh geez, I don't know, point two three nine or two three something. I don't. I just do a conversion on any 
any program and, and you can figure out what six millimeters is in any sort of British or S, SAE standard and you can get it. I just think I used a drill bit. I think even a quarter inch drill bit is a little bit smaller than the 1564s which would probably be even better. What was happening to me is uh, the idle circuit was not getting enough fuel so what was happening is my uh, float was down here when it probably should have been up here and what that did is uh, raise the level of fuel inside the float bowl and once I raised the level of fuel in the float bowl the idle circuit was able to pull more fuel than it normally than it was with the fuel down lower it's all to do with you know maybe everybody not understands all this stuff better than I do but it's to do with the uh, well they're missing but anyways it's these emulsion tubes in the lower section of the emulsion tube if you bring let's imagine this is a level in the float bowl if you raise the float bowl level the emul the gas in the f emulsion tube uh, chamber here is going to be higher so it's going to take less effort for the suction down here to uh, in this needle area to pull fuel out if it's higher because the fuel will be closer to its exit point which is up here up at the top of the uh, midpoint or something like that where it's drilled I think probably right through here where the idle jet is it picks it up from this level so if I if you lower the level actually this might be a good way to explain it if 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 you've got to take fuel from this entry point from the idle jet which comes in right here at this level but the fuels down here it's got to have enough suction power to pull it up well if I put my hand over the cho over the primary it was able to pull it up but if I didn't it was uh, pulling out less fuel so anyways float uh, the float level makes a big difference